Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be customizing my USP for best performance and going to be showing you guys uh, the best customizations to add to maximize the performance of this weapon. Uh, so let's get right into it. First of all, I'd like to mention that this gun is super dark without the skins. Usually I have this blue skin on and I'm used to this grayish color with the blue lining. And when I took it off, it was really black and I got caught off guard a little bit because I was like, wow, that's super dark. I've had the skin on since I bought it and that's like four months ago and I never took it off. Uh, so yeah, it looks really nice even without the skin. Uh, I do have all three skins. For, but for the purpose of this video, let's use this x-ray one because I rarely ever use this one. Uh, all three skins look nice actually. I like this camo one the most, but uh, today we're going to use this one. We also have the sight. Uh, these two things do not affect stats. Uh, so let's get into the things that actually affect stats now. And the first thing is the trunk. Uh, we have four different trunks. Uh, the homemade silencer to begin with. I never recommend a homemade silencer because it decreases the accuracy so much, um, but it really doesn't uh, decrease the accuracy as much in on this gun as much as it does a lot of the other weapons. Uh, it decreases the accuracy by 17 and gives you three damage, which isn't that horrible, but I don't think that's a trade-off you want to make uh, just because you want to keep as much accuracy as you can on this weapon. Uh, next we have the suppressor, which is um, increases the accuracy but does nothing to the damage. Um, and then it increases the accuracy by eight. Uh, not really too impressive, so I wouldn't recommend buying this either. Uh, next we have the compensator, which decreases damage and then increases accuracy. Um, but since this gun isn't super quick, I wouldn't decrease the damage all that much and this gun isn't super accurate to begin with so the best trunk for this weapon would be the silencer number two so let's throw that on there next we get into lights we have the flashlight and the laser obviously uh i actually uh recommend either of these uh depending on which one you like personally do you like two more points in damage or do you like um nearly I want to say seven or eight more points in accuracy. Uh, it's a fair, uh, it's a fair thing either way. Uh, so obviously I have both of them. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use the flashlight. Uh, so now we have almost all the customizations added. One final touch. We either have the speed mag or the increased clip and i'm gonna go ahead and choose the speed mag because this gun has a pretty impressive mag 12 rounds so you could get several kills uh before you have to reload and that's sufficient for me uh so yeah let's get into a game and test this weapon out now let's use it and get into a gun game or a team game and uh, see how it performs all right we're into a game guys looks like we've got pretty decent competition uh four play four diamond players a couple of uh lower level players but um yeah not bad not too bad so we'll actually see how this gun performs against decent players uh and see if it like these are the best customizations for the gun. Uh, these are the customizations I always have on my gun. Uh, I sometimes swap out the flashlight for the ma uh, for the laser uh, just because I want just that tiny bit more accuracy for longer distances. Um, but still performs pretty amazingly. There you go. Three shots to the body and it took the guy down. Uh, pretty damn impressive in my book. This gun is super accurate, so you don't need to add all that many accuracy mods. You can add the laser just because um, the flashlight only increases the damage by two, which isn't even that amazing. So uh, you could make that trade off if you want to make your gun just a little bit more accurate. Um, so yeah, that's completely up to you. I wish they would... Uh, 
kind of match uh, the skin of the customizations to the gun because it looks kind of weird if a gun has a certain customization and the skin uh, or certain customization skin uh, customized skin and then the customizations are a different color uh, I wish if the gun was camo the customizations were camo uh, if the gun was an x-ray and the customizations are x-ray stuff like that you know it, it would match more But as you guys could see, if I do register the shots, it does get kills in about three shots uh, with the combination of uh, head and body shots. Um, I want to say it gets a kill with four body shots. And then uh, if you include a headshot in there, uh, you get a, a kill with three hits. If you get only headshots, you get a kill with two hits. So it's not bad at all. Uh, actually pretty good. Um, the weapon's performing pretty decently right now. I'm not so much. So, um, yeah, pretty amazing customizations. Uh, really pretty accurate weapon right here. Um, pretty good damage as well. 33 damage is not bad at all, which means you get a kill in about three shots, which isn't bad at all. Wow. A lot of people are using sniper rifles. Wow, he got me with a knife from that distance. Crazy. But yeah, guys, in my opinion, these are the best customizations for the USB, and I do use the USB quite often. Uh, I really do like it. Uh, I think it does get decent kills. I think it is one of the better hand handguns or secondary weapons. Um, I love this weapon. Uh, I love the Desert Eagle for damage, and then I also love the Glock for speed, but this is definitely in my top three um, when it comes to hand weapons or handguns. But yeah, guys, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you like this type of content in general, hit that subscribe button. I try to post a video every day. Um, I might miss a day here or there. Um, but yeah, I do post pretty damn often. So if you like Kaboom content and if you like people doing voiceovers, um, I'm one of the few channels that do that. So consider subscribing. But anyways, I will let you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day.